What's up everyone? This is the virtual spotter Costas K and today I'm gonna show you how I turn this into this. If you don't know me, I'm a professional video maker and content creator living in Greece and traveling all around Europe working with international clients. One of the most common questions that I get on my comments is what editing software do I use and how do I make these shots look better than uh, the actual gameplay. Before we jump into this, I want to say that I'm not sponsored by Infinite Flight in any way and uh, visual effects that I add like uh, rain, thunderstorms, uh, dark clouds, etc. are not part of Infinite Flight gameplay. It's just my own aesthetic and perspective that I add into my shots in order to make my videos look better. So the editing software I'm going to use today is Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro and sometimes I just load my videos into DaVinci Resolve for some uh, extra color correction but it's not gonna be needed today so I'm just gonna show you my uh, a little bit of my routine within uh, the After Effects and Premiere Pro uh, sequence and see the new Copenhagen video coming up in a few days in the making. So let's jump right into it. So to begin with I will import my shots into Adobe After Effects. This is the first program I'm going to use and first thing I'm gonna do is completely remove the white sky from the shot so I can add my uh, dark clouds uh, later. There's a tool within Adobe After Effects which will allow me to do this very easily and very quickly. I just have to make a few adjustments in order to make it match my uh, specific shot. And then I'm gonna add my fake clouds that I actually downloaded them from Google. I add some blur it, so it can match my uh, shot better and then I'm just adding an adjustment layer on, on top of both of them so I can just make a small color correction and make them match together. After that the most important stuff is motion tracking. Motion tracking within Adobe After Effects is a very time consuming process because there are some points that I have to add keyframes and mask my uh, light sources in order to make them look like they are part of the aircraft and not just randomly been placed there. As for the lights, I just created these images on Photoshop and um, I exported them on JPEG. So after importing them on top of my uh, sequence on Adobe After Effects, I just changed the blending mode from normal to screen. What that does is uh, it completely removes from the footage the blacks and it just keeps the light source visible so I can perfectly use it uh, on my aircraft. After the masking and uh, motion tracking process is complete, I just head over to Premiere Pro where I will do my final color corrections. I will add my anamorphic bars on the top and on the bottom of my uh, shot and then I just edit the sounds, the, the cuts and that's pretty much it. I hope you now have a better idea about my editing process and what it actually takes. Uh, in order to make these shots and videos that you you see in this uh, channel and let me know all your thoughts down in the comments and if there's anything else you'd like to see or maybe a more detailed tutorial on how to edit a few stuff within these um, programs and uh, of course you can also find me on Instagram and join my discord server you can find both links down in the description and I'll see you guys on my next premiere take care